have a new Omni Search tool that I'm going to show you how it looks and how you can set it up. We have two themes that are new available for it. In the setup tab is where you can configure the main characteristics of the search bar, like the placeholder text you want to show. Some of these are the CD list you want to give people the option to search from and default sort and search options. The newest feature is called the show field label. All of the ones um, before that are also available on the Omni Search. And this is going to be the main difference. So without this feature, um, the description is showed inside the boxes like you see here. And when you add in all of these cities, um, it no longer shows the placeholder text. Same thing when you add in a minimum, maximum price, beds and baths. What this feature does is it allows you to show these titles over at the top of the search bar. So let's turn on the show fields label option, copy code and run it again on JS Fiddle for you to see the difference. Here's how it would look. This can help with user experience so that people don't get confused with where um, the fields should go. The next feature is called the one line advanced. It's still in the beta stage, but what it does is it compacts the search tool so that only the main features are shown and the other ones are hidden um, in this advanced button you see here. If you go to the search fields section, you can decide which of these fields you want to remove. If you want to have buy and sell tabs or a drop down, and if you want properties to open up in a new tab, um, to have them sorted, show status, and show advanced fields from your MLS. Here's how the buy, rent, and sell tab would look. Let's return to how we had the search bar before and go to the search criteria section. If you turn this on, you'll be able to add in default values as intervals for these fields. This is how it would look. Here is an example for minimum price. We have values instead of having to type everything out. The only thing is that if you turn the default values on, you have to turn it on for all of the search criteria. If we modify this um, number, for example, to 800,000 and this one to 500,000, for example, that would be what would show up here as intervals as the highest value for min price and lowest value for max price. But you can determine these numbers on your own. This is how it would look for the baths and beds section as an example. Let's go back to IDX add-ons and turn this off for now. In the style section is where you're able to select a theme for your Omni search. Right now we have basic and harvest. We'll have more in the future. But right now let's see how the harvest theme would look on your Omni search bar. Here you're also able to modify some colors, borders, and overall the look of the fields and buttons. So let's copy this code again and run it on JS Fiddle. And here's how the harvest theme would look. As you can see, it has a transparent background. You can change the button border color, the hover border color, the text color showing up on the buttons. We give you some suggested colors, but as an example, I'm going to be switching out some of these to show you how the search tool would look with a blue color. And here it is. Remember that you need to search for the hex codes and add those in on IDX add-ons. Now the last feature I wanna show you is the address autocomplete. It's still in the works and you're able to select from one MLS and property type. And what this feature will do is that when people start typing out an address on the search bar, it will complete it if there are matches. If you want to become a Realty County client, go to idxsanos.com free to get access to this app and many more.